What we're going to do on this fine, beautiful, almost winter day, 75 degrees. I get energetic when the weather gets nice outside this time of the year, especially late. 2002 Nissan Xterra. This will probably apply to a lot of other vehicles. We've got a frozen brake caliper pin right here. Not the prettiest thing in the world. The bottom one works good. I don't know if you can see that, but that has the boot still on it. Well, we don't have a boot up here, and, you know, one or two things have happened. The boot cup got dry rotted, moisture got in there, and it locked it up. And the bottom one here, I can actually still move it with my fingers. So what we're going to do today, and I'm going to show you probably nothing new that you've already seen on YouTube. Uh, the biggest obstacle I see that people uh, have a tendency to have an issue with is they get it in a hurry. They get way too big of in a hurry. Let me try that again. They get in a hurry way too fast. <laughs> Well, that's close enough. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, I've got one frozen on the other side and one on the inside. These caliper brake pans are about, this whole piece here is about $50 a piece. So, you know, if I can break these loose, I'm going to save $100. And I'm going to show you that you can do it with a little bit of patience and some basic tools. Now, I do have that guy right there. That is a lifesaver. And we have some just uh, cheap... Dollar Tree uh, lubricant here, and uh, we got some basic tools here. Do have a hammer. Uh, the whole purpose of these pens is to let this housing here, this piece here, which has your um, your brake caliper where your pistons are, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it lets this whole thing float back and forth evenly. Now, when one of these pens kind of frees up, uh, this thing will start to turn a little bit, and you'll find uneven wear on your brake shoes and, or brake pads or whatever. So, uh, in a nutshell, that's what that does. So, we got to go ahead and take this off here. This is uh, these are 14 millimeter bolts. Let me get those off. All right, so here comes one. When you put these back on, put them on with your fingers because these threads are so easy to cross thread. Make sure you do that, and we'll take the top one out here. And this calipers actually right now. It's in a bind. These brakes uh, and rotors, slotted, dimpled rotors, I just put on a couple days ago, and I figured I was going to have a problem with these pins because they were frozen, so I have to go ahead and get these loose. If I don't, it's just going to ruin these pads and eventually warp this rotor, so that's what, why we're doing this today. And also, it makes the brakes even better. All right, so we got that all. See, this thing is like ugh, jammed on there. This side was so hot after I drove it five miles, I just kind of touched this hub, and it actually literally almost burnt my fingers. That's how hot this thing got. So that's why I'm going to try to get this fixed on here and show you guys what you can do. And you can see uh, the caliber pistons that are out. Hang this up here. But these, this, these here aren't floating back and forth. To let this caliper move back and forth but this one here you can see is completely jammed up so what we're going to do we're going to take our heating torch here before we do that pull our pads out like i said these are brand new get these out and we're going to go ahead and put a heating torch here like i said it's just a propane torch and we're going to go ahead and get our socket set up here and set this up on here and i believe this is going to be an 18. so let me go ahead and set that up i know you can't see that flame And when the thing starts to smoke a little bit, you know you've got it pretty daggone hot. Now, these caliper pins, a lot of people don't know, they have little rubber boots inside of them. And what happens over time, rust and uh, all kind of gump kind of gets uh, developed on the inside. And you try to pull these off, all that stuff gets built up against that little rubber seal that's on these pins. This is why you can't get them out. You might get them to turn, but you won't get them out. All right, so I'm gonna, that's heated up pretty good there. Now I'm gonna grab my hammer here really quick and hit this a little bit. You can see it's smoking pretty good. So. Stay up there. I think my caliper's gonna try to come off. I apologize about the sun being so bright out here today. That's on this camera. All right. And you don't want to break this off. Just barely, you know, put some pressure on it. If you see it start to uh, turn, then you're good. But if it's not turning, stop. Don't even try to break it. Let's just go ahead and put some more heat on it here. Just lift back up. We'll just keep doing this a few times. It may take three or four times. Like I said, patience is the key. 
All right, temp to number two. Oh, still nothing. Ugh, I want to break my socket. Well, let's do it again. All right, attempt number three. I hope I'm not doing this video for nothing today. If not, interesting content. <laughs> All right, you can see that bubbling air. It's so hot right now, and you can see it's smoking still. Ugh. Well, that didn't go as planned. Oh, I had that apparently the way I wanted it to stay. All right, let's try this again. Oh, still not moving. I'm not having a good feeling about this one. All right, we'll do this. We'll just continue here. All right, I think this is attempt number four. You know, it's got to go sooner or later. Gosh. I see the pen trying to turn, but it's not breaking free. Uh, well, do it again. Alright, I think this is number five. This has been 20 minutes later. Oh, I think it's trying to move. Hey, I think we, it's moving a little bit. Alright, let me get my hammer. God, that is hot. Well, we're going to heat you up some more. All right, number six. Like I said, this is nothing new on YouTube, but I want to show you how I do it. Patience is the key. All right, that sucker is hot. Man, is it? Look at that. This may be a failed attempt. This is not going good. <laughs> I'll take this off and we'll hit it again. I don't know, lost track six or seven or eight, I don't know. Come on, baby, give it to me. All right, we'll heat it up one more time here. Yeah, I get one of those torches that have the flame sparky thingy. All right, so heat it up some more. Watch your ABS wire right there. Don't hit it. Smoke it. All right, that is on fire. It is hot. Right, let's try it again. Hey, there we go. All right, see that? All right, so just because it turned, don't start wheeling on it. Back it off. Go back and forth with it. That's what you want to do. This may take an hour. I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it like a lot of YouTube videos people do. They don't record the important part. All right, so what we're going to do is let that cool down a little bit. I know it's going to get a little tighter when it cools down, but what you can do now at this point is get you that cheap dollar store oil or Dollar Tree. Put some of that in there, and now rock this back and forth, because as you're rocking this back and forth, it'll draw that oil in there all right so i think i can safely go ahead and spin this completely around yeah there we go it's starting to loosen up there we go baby i'm gonna turn my torch off before i start a fire all right so we're looking good now all right all right yeah i know we broke it loose but we got a little ways to go here get this pin out so we'll put some penetrating oil here. now what i'm going to go do is get my uh, cordless Pull, put this socket in there and let this spin around really, really fast. And like, uh, if I do that, it'll draw a lot of this oil in there. So let me go get my uh, tool. All right, so what we want to do, this is 11 16 This is actually supposed to be an 18 millimeter socket, I believe, on this. All right, so we're going to take this guy here. And this is a key to actually get this to really help you out. Just don't push in or push out. Just spin this bolt a little bit. Let that oil get down in there. Don't spin it too fast because it'll get hot and it'll tear that boot up all the way on the inside. Let's get some more oil on it. 
sometimes I get these come right out. Sometimes you gotta really just take your time at it, you know. All right, let's see. I'm not gonna touch it yet, so get your get some vice grips like this. Go ahead and grip it. I don't think it's gonna come out just yet. Nothing's that easy, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me. All right, let's see if she'll come out. Nope. Uh, so what we're going to have to do now is uh, just take this here like this and just put it in the up position and just rock it back and forth and kind of push out on it. Uh, ouch, that is hot. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. All right, so let me just keep doing this. This may take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, who knows, but as you're doing it, you'll see the results. You'll see it kind of working its way loose. So I'm just going to continue to do this. And I may have to take a break and come back out, but that's the whole key. Just take your time at it. All right. You know, I wasn't going to make this video. I didn't think anybody would really care, but I don't know. Maybe a couple of you will. Not getting anywhere, really. I'm still rocking, rocking, rocking. It's been 20 minutes. But I got, look at this. I've got a little bit of movement here now. See that? So it's working. I'm doing the right thing. So I'll just keep going. I wonder if that boot's still catching. I know there's a little rubber boot on these, or at least it used to be. Hey, look. All right. We're really making some headway now. There we go. Oh, ta-da. How about that? Yes, we got it. We got it. Save myself $80. And, uh, well, there's no boot on this. I'll be dead gone. Well, we'll look at the other side and see what it's got. But, hey, we got the pin out. So I'll have to buy a boot now and put on this. But, hey, look at, check that out. So what we're going to do now is clean this up. And we got two good working sliding caliper pins here. That'll save these brakes. This is wonderful. So, hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. Okay, guys? Like I said, there's no t big secret here. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube. They heat it and beat it. But I see a lot of guys break these right off. They are, they they don't have the patience. you got to take your time with this. You know. Yeah, she's good now. She slides in and out really good. Wonderful. And this goes for just about any vehicle. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to clean this up. And we'll stick this one back in. And we'll go and pull the other side out and see how hard it'll be. So, uh, yay! All right, so that's about as clean as I want to get that. Oh, I'd take some scuffing pad to it or something, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So what I'm going to do, I've got one of these little wire guys here. Stick it in here and kind of clean this out. Make sure, you know, it's all clean. Looks good. Yeah, all right. All right, clean that out. And now what we'll do, get you some heavy grease. Get some on your finger. Jam it in that hole shove it in there that way if you don't use anything like this i know i use this to take it off but don't put this on there because when you're putting it back together this stuff will evaporate eventually and dry out this stuff will last a little bit longer and hopefully keep the moisture and water out of this pan until i get another boot all right so we'll put some on this pan here just a little bit i think i'm overdoing it here with the grease but hey stuff's cheap all right so i get some on the outside of that and putting a boot on here is no problem. I think I can get them for a couple of dollars on eBay. Stick that back in there, and you'll see some of that grease kind of squirt out, probably. Got a little pressure there on it. See that? It's pushing it back out. <laughs> all right, so there's our pen. It's in. And the way you verify if it's going to go in all the way, let's push on the spot of one here. It's not quite all the way in. So let me pull it back out. Sometimes you can get too much grease in these things. All right. All right, so that's it. Let me go ahead and put this back together, and we'll hit the other side. Oh, before we hit the other side, like I said, make sure, push this bottom one in, the good one, or the top one, all the way in, and measure it. Make sure this is all the way in. Take an extra helping of grease and just put it on the outside here. This will keep the water out, at least help it until I get a pin. Yeah, I know, some of them might get on the brake pads, but still better than the alternative of having this thing frozen and not working, so... There we go. Kind of messy, but it'll work. All right, let's hit the other side and see what we got over there. Oh, and by the way, 
Don't forget to push your pistons back in. That little bit of difference makes a huge difference, especially when you're putting these back on. And of course, I need to get one of those that has the big thing on the bottom where I can do them both at the same time. And now, this will go right on, no problem. I'll probably do it with one hand. Yep, see? Perfect. That's all there is to it. All right, so I'm gonna put the bolts in and let's hit the other side. All right, so we're on the driver's side. It's been an hour later. And uh, I was thinking it was the top one, but it's actually the bottom one here. So I've done basically what I did to the other side. I hit it, heat it, spin it. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. I'm a little tired now. Beat on it a bunch of times. And I finally got this thing to move. So it's I think it's about ready to come out. It's still pretty hot. There we go. I, got, I mean, I've got so much grease on this thing. Come on, baby. I tried not to hit it with a chisel, but I did hit it a couple of times, but you can see what happens there. It will kind of chip the top of that off right there. So, yeah, camera focus. Anyway, well. All right, there she comes. It's moving. Yay. Yay. All right. There it goes. See that? Oh, yeah, this one does have a boot on it right there. See it? It's jammed up right there. Oh, there we go. Got it. There it is. Wow, it doesn't look all that bad, but there's that boot. See it right there? So I don't know why the other pin didn't have a boot on it on the other side, but hey. Boy, I put enough grease on that, didn't I? I, I mean, I, I think I, I'm out. That can is empty now, so <laughs> that's how much I put in there. So we're good here. How about that? So um, I'll tell you what I did. The boot was good on it. I popped the boot off because I... I didn't want to burn it up, you know, with the torch or anything. So i got to clean it back up. Put everything back together. So, boy, this is, is great. So, like I said, guys, just have patience with these. Grip them. Start turning them. If they break free, just don't spin them around. Just work them back and forth. Then put your vice grips on it. Work them and push out on them. Now, I know they make a tool for this, but I, I see a lot of guys say that tools don't really work because the tool they use... You put it in behind here and you take a hammer and you hit the tool and you beat on it well that's probably not the best thing in the world because i think you can see right there on the top of that where i hit it with a chisel and it kind of chipped a little bit there right there on the top so you kind of gotta watch that all right guys so i'm happy i'm gonna go ahead and grease this up put everything back together and we'll wrap this video up so if you like this video and it helps you out hey give me a thumbs up all right she's all back together now uh you can see it spins really well no problems, no resistance. Now to verify your job that has been fixed, get inside and pump that brake up a little bit. Can't see some guys get in it. And the pedal sinks right to the floor uh, because you've had that caliper off. You probably pushed those pistons back like I did. So pump the brakes up a little bit. All right. Now, if I don't fall down, let's make sure we're still spinning good. Yep. Good deal. All right. No problem. So this side's done, so we got to just put the wheel on it and wrap this video up. So this saved me uh, $80, so uh, hopefully this will help a lot of people that have the problems with these caliper pins. Hey, you can only try, right? So there you go, guys. We're done. Uh, even if you can find these uh, caliper pins, a lot of times they're going to be bad, too, because these Nissan parts are kind of getting hard to find, especially where I live. And uh, the ones on eBay that they sell, they want anywhere from $60 to $80. That's for a used one. So... There you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you later.